What is the big issue this figure has? I'm sure some of you guys are asking yourselves because beforehand, the Giganotosaurus from the Hammond Collection line was seen as a great figure. It was seen as one of the best ones to ever be released. So what's the big deal? And I'll tell you what the big deal is. <laughs> The issue is not with the figure itself, it is with the vast amount of quality control issues that have been popping up with this guy for whatever reason. Now don't get me wrong, other Jurassic World figures have quality control problems too, but I have not seen nearly as many pop up on one single figure besides the Giganotosaurus. Now I have no idea why, of all figures, the Giga specifically is an issue, because for whatever reason, within the span of about two days, there has been at least three or four of them that have had serious problems. For example, look at this one. It got fucking gooned on. Or this one with an obnoxious bullet hole in its side, looking like a fucking cow who has a gas buildup. Or there's this one that legit just popped up from Paleo Collector, where he says he got two right legs on his Giganotosaurus. Look, I could be a little bit more lenient about mainline quality control issues, especially with their Giganotosaurus, because god, that figure already looks like a quality control issue as is. But this is from your quote-unquote premium line. There's no kids allowed for this one. I cannot excuse quality control issues when it comes to this figure. I mean, let's be real for a second. Kids are gonna look at this thing and say, is giga nigga what the fuck but uh yeah that's my thoughts on the whole thing mattel should get their shit together someday at least and um yeah more jurassic world alive sounds tomorrow why are you still here engine dinosaur profile season six oh she's coming buddy